guys, how's it going today? All right, so we have another three days left so far now until the end of the month. So this compilation will bring a smile to your face and will lift your spirits high for another three days. I really wish you start a very uh, happy next month. I would recommend you to save it on your YouTube downloads and listen to it, to it frequently as well as share it with your friends and family. Enjoy and chill. Thank you. Um, to frame my question, I'd like to give you my vantage point. Um, two most influential teachings in my life are yours and um, Buddhism and, and the modern teaching of Zen, presented by Eckhart Tolle. And, uh, I would think that you may be familiar because Oprah's uh, done quite a bit of work with him as well. And for it's the where most we part, get all of our information. <laughs> yeah. And there's there's a lot of places where I'm sorry, I actually missed what you said. We are just playing with you a little bit. I appreciate it. We were letting you know that we get all of our infinite intelligence from watching Oprah. I do. I do. <laughs> get happy. Simplistic, we know. That's why we write so many books. But then all of those books, you say, oh, there's so much to learn. Look at all of these pages. There's so much to learn. All of these emotions that I didn't even know that I had. And all of these laws, all of these laws. Look at all of these laws, universal laws. What in the hell is vibration anyway? I don't understand. Ask and it is given. That's bullshit. I've been, I've been asking. Where's my stuff? Where's my stuff? I've been asking, where's my stuff? So we give you all of the words and you say way too many words and we say, get happy and you say, oh, too simplistic. <laughs> so what kinds of things are you doing that is holding it away other than noticing that it hasn't come yet? Well, that'll do it. <laughs> Don't try to please us. Don't try to say the things you think we want to hear. Just talk like you usually talk about it, and we'll all make fun of you. <laughs> okay, do you want me to talk which, about... Which should really shore up your feeling of worthiness. <laughs> what do your friends hear you say about it? Why is it taking so long, or I'm not worthy, or... Or maybe I'm not pretty enough. Maybe I'm not smart enough. Maybe I'm not... Something's wrong with me. All right. So when you say any of those things, it's clear they don't feel good. Mm -hmm. And why don't they feel good? Tell us again. Why don't those things feel good? Because it's not truly who I am. Because it's not true. Because it is so opposite of who you know you are. Mm -hmm. And so now take any one of those statements and soften it by reaching for something more accurate. Just try. I'm not pretty enough. Take that one. I'm not pretty enough. I'm not worthy of the magnificent partner I have waiting for me in vibrational escrow. I've created something so wonderful, but that wonderful partner wouldn't want me. That's mm -hmm. what your vibration is saying. Now, talk that down or talk yourself into a place where at least your boat can turn. I'm not the ugliest person in the world. <laughs> You're the worst person in the world. <laughs> Actually, that was pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. And Is that even, and people say, like, the, the way that I express what I want, they're like, oh, oh, that'll, you'll never find him. Well, they don't know what they're talking about because he's in vibrational escrow. We've seen him. <laughs> Can you give him my number? <laughs> I'm ready. You are ready. 
I'm ready. So you've seen him. <laughs> yes, and he's not the ugliest person in the world. My question is pertaining to my five-year-old son. He will not listen to me. Good. Um, to any... <laughs> no women. Men, a little better. Teacher told me. She goes, can you get him to listen to me? I say, he won't listen to me. What are you talking about? And <laughs> Who is he listening to? I guess his own head, because he told me. He said, um, you know, I live my life my way, and you do things sort of your way. He said, this is way... He, said, he must be listening to us. Yes. <laughs> um, my mother transitioned um, a little less than a year Whee! ago. Yes. <laughs> and I love you, Abraham. We like it when you love, because when you love, you're tuned into that which is love, and we don't care what you're loving. Mm. Well, it's nice I... that you're loving us, but we don't care. <laughs> But we love that you love. You're a group of entities. Are we a group of entities? Too? Yes, we are all infinite intelligence. Ah. We are just more intelligent. <laughs> we just have less resistance that keeps us from knowing what we know. But we are all infinite intelligence. Why do you always use Esther as your examples and never Jerry? Why not Jerry? Because, because he's good and she's bad. <laughs> because we have moment to moment permission from Esther. Vibrational alignment permission from Esther. That's primarily it. Well, if your business side is easy and fun, then you've got the spiritual thing down and don't worry about it. I'm there. Because there is not something that you're supposed to do and there is not some vocabulary that we want you to learn. In other words, if you say, I have found something and when I focus upon it, it thrills me and calls me forward, then we say, you've intuitively listened to your guidance and you're right on track. And these words are superfluous. I'm there. I'm there. Thank you. Yes, indeed. Now he's going to the Lido bar. No point in listening to any more of this crap. Hey there, I really hope that you enjoyed it and um, I've actually downloaded it on my phone and listened to it all the time, just walking on the streets and, you know, be in my own world and I hope you that too. All right, I wish you all the best and we look forward to the next one. Cheers. Bye.